Hello everybody, welcome back to Domination Reading Channel. Today we are starting a new book. It's going to be Magnus Chase and the Gods of Asgard, Book 3, The Ship of the Dead by Rick Riordan. Just want to give you guys a quick reminder before we start that if you have not subscribed, please subscribe to my channel. Leave a like down below. I do not get donations. I do this for fun and for the enjoyment of the books. So without further ado, I hope you guys enjoy this. This is going to be my reading of The Ship of the Dead by Rick Riordan. Magnus Chase and the Gods of Asgard Chapter 1 Percy Jackson does his level best to kill me. Try it again, Percy told me, this time with less dying. Standing on the yard arm of the USS Constitution, looking down at Boston Harbor, 200 feet below, I wished I had the natural defenses of a turkey buzzard. Then I could projectile vomit on Percy Jackson and make him go away. The last time he'd made my, me try this jump, only an hour before, I'd broken every bone in my body. My friend Alex Fierro had rushed me back to Hotel Valhalla just in time for me to die in my own bed. Unfortunately, I was in Anhari, one of Odin's immortal warriors. I couldn't die permanently as long as I expired within the boundaries of Valhalla. Thirty minutes later, I woke up good as new. Now, here I was again, ready for more pain. Hooray! Is this strictly necessary? I asked. Percy leaned against the rigging, the wind rippling little waves through his black hair. He looked like a normal guy. Orange t-shirt, jeans, battered white leather Reeboks. If you saw him walking down the street, you would think, Hey, he's not a demigod or the son of Poseidon. Praise the Olympians. He didn't have gills or webbed fingers, though his eyes were sea green, about the same shade I imagined my face was just then. The only strange thing about Jackson was the tattoo on the inside of his forearm, a trident as dark as seared wood, with a single line underneath, and the letters S-P-Q-R. He told me that the letters stood for Sono Pazi Quelle Romanani, those Romans are crazy. I wasn't sure if he was kidding. Look, Magnus, he told me, you'll be sailing across hostile territory. A bunch of sea monsters and sea gods, and who knows what else will be trying to kill you, right? Yeah, I suppose. By which I meant, please don't remind me, Please leave me alone. At some point, said Percy, you're going to get thrown off the boat, maybe from as high up as this. You'll need to know how to survive the impact, avoid drowning, and get back to the surface ready to fight. That's going to be tough, especially in cold water. I knew he was right. From what my cousin Annabeth had told me, Percy had been through even more dangerous adventures than I had. And I lived in Valhalla. I died at least once a day. As much as I appreciated him coming up from New York to offer me heroic aquatic survival tips, though, I was getting tired of failing. Yesterday, I'd gotten chomped by a great white shark, strangled by a giant squid, and stung by a thousand irate moon jellies. I'd swallowed several gallons of seawater trying to hold my breath, and learned that I was no better at hand-to-hand -hand combat thirty feet down than I was on dry land. This morning, Percy had walked me around Old Ironsides, trying to teach me the basics of sailing and navigation. But I still couldn't tell the mizzenmast from the poop deck. Now here I was, a failure at it falling off a pole. I glanced down, where Annabeth and Alex Fierro were watching us from the deck. You got this, Magnus! Annabeth cheered. Alex Fierro gave me two thumbs up. I, at least I think that was the gesture. It was hard to tell from this distance. Percy took a deep breath. He'd been patient with me so far, but I could tell the stress of the weekend was starting to get to him, too. Whenever he looked at me, his left eye twitched. It's cool, man, he promised. I'll demonstrate again, okay? Start in skydiver position. Spread eagle to show your descent. Then right before you hit the water, straighten like an arrow, head up, Heels down, back straight, butt clenched. 
The last part is really important. 